Today, I'm going to Dragon Con, and you're coming with me. It's Thursday, I'm all packed, and I'm gonna get my big hat into an Uber and make my way to the Atlanta Marriott Marquis. I'm assuming that if you watch this channel, you've probably been to an anime convention, but Dragon Con is very different. First of all, it isn't held in like a convention center with a hotel. Dragon Con takes up five hotels in the downtown Atlanta area, plus two multi-story exhibit hall buildings and the Peachtree Center, which is where the food is. Basically, that's almost all of downtown Atlanta. So there's a lot of walking and a lot of walking outside on city streets. Anyway, I arrived with my giant hat to which a stranger took a picture of me checking in. Well, I'm already a little overwhelmed. That's the thing about Dragon Con. It's kind of overwhelming, but I did get the room and I did go get my badge. I ran down to the Sheridan because I thought the line was gonna be as bad as it normally is. Last year, it was like all the way around the building, but I went in there and it was- Look at that beautiful short reg line. I've never seen anything as beautiful in my life. So that's good, but now I'm sweaty. So here's the room. Ronnie, ready for the bunny hutch. I didn't actually book this room. My friend Abby, when she was booking her room, her and her friend were both trying at the same time and they both successfully got rooms, which means they needed to offload one, to which I got a Marriott room without even trying. But we have a pretty nice view. Wow. But uh, in uh, the room, it's just gonna be me and my boyfriend. He actually had to work tomorrow. So he's not coming tonight, but I'm gonna eat some snacks and I'm gonna drink some water and then I'm gonna paint myself blue. I'm gonna paint myself blue. So I already took off all my makeup, which included my eyebrows, which if you didn't know, I am a natural redhead, which means my eyebrows do not exist. And I only have one contact in. I have a regular contact in this side just so I can see what I'm doing. But the reason is the last time I wore Ronnie, I did not do the smart thing and take my other contact out before I went like down. But I forgot to take it out. And by the end of the day, when I went to take off my like eye thing, the contact was gone. So that was a whole thing. I'll show you how I do the eye by the way. It's a little weird, but I'm going to further get rid of my eyebrows because Ronnie doesn't have eyebrows. Oh wait, I don't need to do that on that eye. I'm so stupid. Okay, here we are. I've got my eyes like, this palette ain't it. It's patchy as f And it was really hard just to do what I tried to do, which was supposed to be like an extended brow bone, but it just turned into a garage door. But whatever, at least my cracks look good. But yeah, I'm gonna show you what I do for the eye. I'm not actually gonna put it on my eye yet because I need to wait until I'm like fully done to do it because it is gonna take away half of my vision, but I am gonna prep the little thing. So, I was about to pull out 3M tape and some scrap cotton fabric, but the scrap cotton fabric got left at home. So I may have just cut a piece of buckets lining out, which is fine, it's just cotton. I'll explain why I want this. Basically, so I'm using tape but I'm not actually taping my eye shut. I'm putting the tape over the eye. The reason I'm using tape is because I don't like gluing sh to my face. I just don't have the patience for spirit gum. So I prefer to use tape. Essentially what I'm doing, I take my tape and I get a little piece that's about the size of my eye and I'm gonna cut it into like a teardrop shape. So now I'm gonna take my little piece of fabric and I'm gonna stick that you want it in the middle of the tape, but you want a little baby bit of tape on bottom and a, a lot more tape on top. Because what it's actually doing is the fabric is preventing the tape from sticking to my eyelid, which I don't want because I'm 28 and I don't need any more wrinkles. But it also serves to not actually tape my eye shut. Essentially, I'm just taping it above my eye and then my eye can still open. Uh, once this is on, I actually paint it with the Paradise paint. Uh, I give it a wing and then I put a lash on it and that's it. And here's my finished bunny Ronnie. Comment down below if you would like a longer explanation of the body paint because I could do that. But by the time I was done painting, my friend Melanie had come up to get ready in her handmaid's tail bunny, which ended up kind of weirdly being cohesive with Ronnie. We both have 
Hats with ears. The theme is <laughs> religion. <laughs> this is my finger maiden. Ew. <laughs> By the way, I wear hip pads for bodysuit cosplays, so those are not my real hips. No! Anyway, we went down to the con floor and met up with my friends Pins and Snip. We didn't even actually go to the bunny hutch, we kind of just hung out in the Marriott lobby, which was awesome because I ended up running into a ton of amazing Elden Ring cosplays. I saw the prawn guy. I saw this amazing Godric the Grafted and Hyetta who had a little pot burn. Brian? Baron? I think you say his name like Baron. Anyway, I saw this Selen with this amazing 3D printed glintstone crown. And I got to see the man, the myth, the legend. Let me solo her. Which I was most excited about because I actually use his build in game, like his katana. That's an S tier katana, the Rivers of Blood katana. Of course I use it, I'm basic, okay? I also got to meet Omnom Witches, who turns out made her Ronnie hat based on my tutorial. She actually came up, recognized my hat, and asked, did you use Sarah Spaceman's tutorial? So that was a pretty good ego boost for the night, but you'll get to see her amazing hat later. And this last one's not Elden Ring, but I ran into a hot dog finger lady from everything everywhere all at once, and this gets my favorite cosplay of Thursday. Anyway, we headed up to Pins and Snip's room. And I'ma warn you right now, I was a couple white claws in at this point. Did How you hear that? I'm an engineer. It's Is good. actually an it's engineer? Good. So Who I was like, you? <laughs> Myself. <laughs> What's your name? Oh, I'm Pins. I'm Pins of Cosplay what? Content Creator. What are, what are you? You're a... What is Pins that? of Our Page. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. That's me. I'm the big support to your patron. I got I got a comment the Thank other day you. that was like, oh my that. god, the laugh at the end. <laughs> 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 it's true. It's great. Baja laugh. Also, they had these absolutely cursed chips. Onion funion, onion, onion flavored, onion lace, onion funion rings. <laughs> And when I say cursed, I mean cursed. I could not get the taste of onion funyun out of my mouth. Onion funyun, onion flavored, onion funyun This is my favorite video. <laughs> well, it's like 1 a.m. I think, but I had fun. I have never painted this much of myself before and some of it has gone away, but I feel like we did pretty good and we've held up pretty good. I really like this bodysuit. I made it in like three days and surprisingly, it's not uncomfortable. None of the bones are poking me and it fits pretty good. The butt is a little weird. That's what the robe is for. But yeah, I spilled Gatorade all over my robe when we went to Finn's and Snip's room. Uh, and I got, my cups started melting on my hand, but I had fun. I was like worried that nobody at Dragon Con would even like know what Elden Ring was. But plenty of people knew who Ronnie was. So that was really cool. A lot of people just liked the hat, which is like fair. I certainly think this looks cute. I feel cute. I mean, how can you not feel cute in a fucking corseted bunny suit, right? Anybody would feel cute in a corset and bunny suit. This is, this is literally, this is one layer. This is one layer of micro suede. And the boning channels are the seam allowances. That's how lazy I was. I was too lazy to even cut strips of twill tape to make the boning channels. But you know what? Here's the great thing about this. So now, Okay, well that's it for Thursday, I think. Um, good night, bye. Good morning. You're getting no eyebrows this morning because my skin is angry. Well, last night was fun. Bunny Rania was really fun. Also, I did not sleep good because I drank caffeine at like 6 p.m. in order to try and stay up. I only made it to like 1 a.m. last night. I'm hungry, so I'm gonna go down to the Peachtree Center. I'm gonna get some breakfast. Figured I'd show you the Marriott while nobody's here. They have this terrifying lunch. A lot of people consider the Marriott Marquis to be like the center of Dragon Con, which I would agree with. It is the physical center of Dragon Con. However, the big problem with the Marriott is the elevator situation. 
So the Marriott has this like central hub of elevators, but they all go to a different set of floors. And because the con is so populated, you end up seeing full elevators coming down and not being able to fit in them. So sometimes it can take a long time before you can get down. The cool thing about staying in one of the host hotels is that minus the Sheridan, all the buildings are connected by sky bridges, which also connect to the Peachtree Center so you can walk inside to go get food. I once learned that the architect who built these buildings, the Hyatt, the Marriott, the Petri Center, the America Smarts, he had this dream of these hotels being like the indoor town square of Atlanta. And while that's not really true normally, it does come true once a year for Dragon Con. Okay, I don't have my cosplay on yet, but I did do my makeup. Today is gonna be pretty simple. I'm wearing Bucket, my D&D character. Nobody's gonna know who I am, but I will know who I am. I will feel cute. And that's what matters. But my goal for today is to check out the dealer's room and there is a booth. I think it's Vimore Cutlery. They're doing scissor sharpening. So I brought my scissors to get my scissors sharpened. So my goal is to go to the dealer's room, look at the dealer's room, get my scissors sharpened, try not to pass out because I'm tired. The only like programming that I want to go to today is the K-pop dance party. Very excited about that. The dealer's room is actually held in the America Smart buildings. I think they're like, not like trade show buildings. They're like exhibit hall buildings. Like I think they have, they usually have like product exhibits in them. So they're really, really big, right? And Dragon Con specifically has like four floors of dealer's room. And they're not small floors either. They're all full, all packed. So it's a lot. Definitely wouldn't try to go do that in like a big cosplay done that before. That was not a good idea. So far the crowds have not been that bad, but Thursday is normally not that bad. Friday is normally not that bad, but Saturday is when those sky bridges become, you get stuck in them and it's hot. You can't move. There's people everywhere. It's just awful. And it's like, why didn't I just walk on the street? But right now I'm still waiting on my boyfriend to get here. But when he gets here, we're gonna go get his badge and we're gonna go to the dealer's room. This is Bucket. I have like brown boots for her, but they're not comfortable and I'm not doing that. The goldfish are here, which means Joe is here. Hi. This is the man that's behind me, sometimes in my videos. Oh, what are you cosplaying this weekend? I am cosplaying Kiba as I normally do. Joe's reg line was even shorter. Who made your mask? Who did? You. So we got his badge real fast and then made the half mile trek over to the America Smart buildings. Horses! Oh, there's a line to get in. Oh my god, it's all the way down. Oh, he's not exaggerating. We're going to Google Maps for this. This line started on one sidewalk, wrapped around several times, then crossed the street, went all the way down the block, around the building. The famous from 90 Day Fiance, Skyview Atlanta. Halfway up the back of the building. Goodbye, horses. Goodbye. Oh, oh God, hello, mailman. Only to turn around and go all the way around the building again. Yo, we're almost there. We're almost there. Home stretch. Ooh. Hello. These pure people about to turn over. They have no idea that they're not about to turn around. They have to go all the way around the building again twice. But eventually, we got in. And yeah, this thing is four floors and it's all packed with people. We're looking for dice, because we don't have any. In the dealer's room though, we ran into Pins and Snip again. Hello again. Hello, I'm stalking you. <laughs> you recovered from Thursday night? Oh my God, it was a rough morning. It was a rough, rough morning. You know, I, I didn't really sleep. <gasps> no! You I gotta had, get five hours of sleep! I had five hours. And I got to see a giant Eevee, and I will always be excited to see oversized Pokemon. Thank you! We found dice, but so everybody mad. else found the dice, too. Yeah, you can really see how jam-packed this dealer's room is. You couldn't even find a spot in this booth. 
Dragon Con being a multi-genre convention means that the dealer's room has a little bit of everything, but it also means that it has a lot of like really mainstream popular things. Like there's a lot of Star Wars, Star Trek, Marvel, DC, Doctor Who, D&D. It's kind of a majority that stuff. But then you do have plenty of little booths that have more niche fandom stuff. It's just frankly a lot of the same stuff over and over again with a sprinkle of other stuff here and there. And we only got through two floors before the crowd got to be way too much, so we got some lunch, I took a nap, and everyone in that line got rained on. Well, I took a nap, and now I'm in a ready to party. Thanks, Rob. We're gonna go to the K-pop dance party tonight. What time's that? I don't know, like 10. But I'm not wearing a cosplay, because Bucket's wig was itchy. It's the artist Skylar, and it like, it's not a lace front, but it's supposed to kind of look like a lace front, and it's just itchy. So I'm done with that. <laughs> Can I show them your goat eyes? Here's Joe's half Kiva. <laughs> He's gone goat already. Oh, you look cute. Joe broke his Velcro, so I sewed his little kunai holder onto his shorts and fixed the fur that was coming off of his hood. He's had this cosplay since before he met me. It's old and the fur was actually originally held in with bobby pins. Yeah, bobby pins, not safety pins, bobby pins. But with Joe in cosplay and me in, I can't even say these are regular people clothes. These are like my party con clothes. Anyway, the elevator made sure we visited every floor before we went down to the pulse lounge thing, which is this like extra deck above the Marriott floor, and you get this really cool view of the crowd. But then it was time for K-pop dance party line. And yeah, the K-pop dance party is just a party where they play K-pop music. It's not a K-pop dance comma party. It's a K-pop comma dance party. But it's still very fun. The music is way better than the like generic ass almost wedding playlist that they have in the Marriott. Just saying. I'm a baby and I'm tired. So we're going to bed. And that was Friday. Good morning. It's Saturday. We turned in pretty early last night because like I said, I did not sleep at all on like Thursday. We did K-pop dance party for like an hour and then I was like dancing and like half falling asleep. And I was like, yeah, we, we need to go to bed. But I did actually sleep tonight. So that's good because I'm doing Ronnie again today. My goal is to get to the From Software shoot, which I'm really excited about because on Thursday, there was a ton of Elden Ring cosplay and I, I know for a fact that some of them are going to that shoot. So I'm excited about that. Joe's little brother is actually coming today. So he gets to take care of a minor all day. What are you doing today? Me and my brother are going to compete in Smash Ultimate Tournament later and he is 16. He is pretty amp. He's been practicing mostly melee, but we're playing Ultimate. I don't know, I, I think that I'm gonna be surprised at how good that he's gotten practicing so hard for the past few months. But once I get blue, I'm gonna try to stay blue for as long as possible, cause it's like, it's not worth painting yourself unless you wear it for a long time. So hopefully I'll be blue into the night. I have a cute little, there's this art. I don't remember the name of the artist. I'll put it somewhere, uh, but they did this cute art of Ronnie where she's wearing like her pajamas and her pajamas are three wolf moon, which is hilarious. So I bought a three wolf moon shirt. I wore it at Momocon and it was very comfy. Uh, if I feel like still being blue, I'm gonna wear that tonight, but that's today. Also, we're totally missing the parade right now, but I think we can kind of see it from the window. Never seen the parade. I've seen the, I saw the parade last year. I mean, there's no way that's the parade all the way over there. Oh, that might be where they're lining up though. But I mean, why else would all those people be over there? I had no idea the parade crossed a bridge over the highway though. That's kind of terrifying. Cause I know some people like ride on top of floats. I would not feel cool riding on a float on a bridge over the highway. Like that's 7585. No, 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 no. The parade's really cool. They do it every year, obviously. But I hardly ever go down there to see it because I'm usually tired. But last year I did get to see it because I was 
already down there taking pictures for pins and snip and it just started happening. The one bad thing is once it starts, if you have like gone across the street, you are stuck across the street for a while. Uh, so it is a thing you have to watch out for, but it is really cool. I kind of want to be in the parade one year, but I don't know in what. Also to even be in the parade, you have to wake up super early. So your Friday has to be like very chill. Whoa, there's a big like, I don't know what that is, but there's like a big worm. There's a worm? The brown thing? Yeah, what is that? Looks like a... I can't tell. It looks, like, it looks like a long... It looks like a bunch of horses. It looks like a long poop. Yeah, it does. It looks like a big hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe that's from, like, Dune? Maybe the worm is oh, yeah, from, like, Dune? True, true. With the parade trickling out, I got into full Ronnie and we made the long walk down to the America Smart Building again, into the gaming area, which didn't have a line at all, so the boys could enter their tournament. I took my mask off to drink some water. I was so scared. This is not the one I normally wear, and it's a little tight. I was scared like all of my makeup was gone. My cracks are a little f***ed up, but that's okay. I need water. We're waiting for the smash to start. Are you excited? I'm excited. Are you proud? I am proud. I'm proud that he's willing to do this, even on stream in front of people. Joe's brother was first, and he actually got to be on the stream and have his game on the big stage. He did great, but he didn't win. Joe's game wasn't until later, so we ran back to the Marriott to get my other mask because the white one I had was the devil and wouldn't stay on. But I did run into this very cool millennia on the way back. And I was glad we did go back because I got to get a quest from Pins and Snips Quest Givers. Let me explain the ribbons. The ribbons are not necessarily just a Dragon Con thing because I know other cons do it, but they are a big part of Dragon Con. People love collecting them. People bring them personally. You get them at booths when you buy things. People get them at panels, but somehow I never end up with many. But with my first ribbon acquired, we headed over to Hardy Ivy Park for the FromSoft shoot. Omnom Witches was there in her Rani again, so I got to see her hat in its full glory. I love the velvet she chose for it, and she did this lovely white ring around the edge that looked so nice, and I can't remember if she said this was her friend or her boyfriend in Blythe, but he looked so awesome too. I also went up to this person because they had the sword I beat the game with, the Blasphemous Blade, so I wanted to see it up close, but when I went to talk to them, it turned out they were the hot dog finger lady from everything everywhere all at once that I saw on Thursday. And I saw Hayetta again and she gave me a golden seed. Strawberry grapes. 
Yeah. Put your uh, eyeballs. There were like seven Let Me Solo Hers. It was one of the best meetups I've ever been to. I had a really great time and I got my second ribbon. And by then, it was time to head back to the Smash tournament for Joe to compete. It's Joe's turn. Are you excited to play? I'm nervous. Who are you gonna play as? Five mm. And Joe did okay too, but he also lost. So back to RuneScape for Joe. So we went back up to the room after that because I was pretty done with the fur cape at that point. The boys are sleeping, so I came out to sit in the hallway, but turns out, I don't know her name. I'll put her name on the screen. She was in the costume contest last night and she got an honorable mention. Isn't that so cool? I'm very proud of you. You did a really great job. The hat looked so good. And also something really funny is they, obviously they look really similar, right? Cause it's the same pattern. And I've had a couple people come up and be like, oh, were you in the costume contest last night? And I have to be like, nope, wasn't me. <laughs> Same hat though, literally. But yeah, so that's super cool. I'm in my three wolf moon. I know, it's a dumb joke, but it's funny. The art that this is based on, she's not wearing the hat, but I think I'm gonna wear the hat downstairs. The hat has not been a huge problem in the crowd because I'm tall enough that a lot of people are just going under it. I'm, I'm not even that tall. I'm like five, six and three quarters, but plenty of people are just going under it. But then if I'm like in enough of a crowd with taller people, I can lift it above my head and nobody touches it. Um, but that's the other thing that's great about it not being EVA foam is I can hold it in close to my face to get through the crowd. If it does bump people, I'm, I'll be honest, it has bumped quite a few specifically men's shoulders because they're tall it's not like it hurts it's soft it, ha it has give so if it bumps into you it doesn't it doesn't do any damage to you and it doesn't damage the hat which is pretty much essential for having a large piece to your cosplay is that it cannot get broken and it cannot hurt people a staff guy came out of the door i was sitting next to anyway it has been so cool to get to see in person in real life somebody else's cosplay that got that cosplay because they watched one of my videos. Like, I'm so proud of you. I know how much work you did because I did the same amount of work. And we're, ooh, it's like, you know what? I keep saying it's like the, uh, it birthed another baby or now it has another sibling. That's what I keep, there's been a couple people with the jellyfish. I haven't gotten to see any of the, the jellyfish that have been born. Um, I've seen pictures of them in Discord, but to see this hat in person has like really made this con for me. And maybe that's a little conceited, but like, I'm so happy that they get to have that hat too, you know? I don't know. But yeah, we are gonna chill. I think all my friends are in like the my brother, my brother and me panel, and that's not content I've ever consumed. So we're gonna chill and then we're probably gonna go back down to the con floor probably dance around in the Marriott lobby with a mask on. The boys are still napping, so I am going down to Pins and Snip's room. I have my gloves in my bag. With Pins and Snip in tow, we met up with our friends Abby and Jen, and Abby got her own quest. Hello, adventure! Hello! Alright, Adventure. Are you strong? I am strong! Are you smart? Sometimes! Are you flirty? Cookie. Which one are you the most right now? Probably strong. All right, damn it, are you man and over? Oh my God, there's a rat claw! Ah! Run it! Run it! Run it! We hung out in the Hyatt for a little bit and we tried to bully Pins into getting into the background of these two's TikTok. I don't know this dance. Oh no, are they done? Oh, damn. Oh no, 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 wait, they're moving, they're moving. She's putting it on the floor. You're not go, go, go! No. Get behind them! You're not in the shot! I don't know this dance, no! It's only dance if you know the dance. No, but it's funny if you try. Wait, you know that song that that guy tried to 
Jeff's girlfriend too? What? But they wouldn't do it, so I decided I wanted my own dancing segment. <laughs> I tried to test my lack of depth perception. I have one eye. I, just I believe in I you. No yeah, sense. it's gonna look great. <laughs> Did you do it? No! Oh. The loser. Shame, shame. Can I show this to the camera? Abby got a bunch of swag. The, What's up, bud? Abby got a bunch of swag. I did! <laughs> I'm gonna put him on my window. Ah, the cult of John. Now this joke, I was here for. In 2019, FedEx left out a human-sized cardboard cutout in the corner of one of the sky bridges. His name was John. And the people of Dragon Con decided that John deserved to be part of Dragon Con forever. So they improved him. It started out with googly eyes, but throughout the weekend, he got more and more improvements until he was absolutely covered in random objects. But then to everyone's dismay, he was removed. And I'm not sure if it was by FedEx or if someone stole him, but a shrine was left in his honor. While it was pretty funny, it was in fact kind of vandalism and Pins has some important opinions on what consequences can come from doing this to unsuspected property. This requires a little bit of backstory and that is many, many years ago, um, the Homestucks were thriving in terms of fandom and a couple homestuck cosplayers really fucked up a con like convention in call area and that con was no longer allowed to go back to that hotel and so seeing the year that it happened passing by seeing the googly eyes on this cardboard cut i'm like ha ha funny whatever and then it just got progressively and progressively worse until fedex had outright removed the entire cardboard cutout and it just gave me more flashbacks to, you know, cons not being able to take place in the hotels I had already been in because of people vandalizing property. And it's always like a, like a slippery slope. Especially when Dragon Con is like defined by these hotels. hotels. Yeah, and everybody who always says, well, it needs to go into the Congress and or whatnot, then it wouldn't be Dragon Con anymore. It wouldn't. The entire point of Dragon they also, Con they is that it goes- They wouldn't everywhere. do it. Yeah. And granted, there's contracts with these hotels and everything. It just, you gotta be a good steward for your con. And it was not good stewardship. And that's yeah. why I don't like, I like it's funny now because it's done and people are bringing their own cardboard cutout. That's fine and hilarious to me. But at the time in the reception that I got, I'm just like, you are encouraging bad behavior. Thank so, you, Pins. You're welcome. But that's the cult of John. As far as the rest of the swag, I've not been going to Dragon Con enough for this one to make sense, but I'm assuming it's what the old room keys look like. These are all dedicated to the carpets, and this one is the Marriott Poop Lions, which are the large abstract lions that sit outside the Marriott. And at some point, Pins asked for my cosplay business cards to give them to the people walking by who were stopping and looking at the hat, to which Abby joined in and it got competitive. So we had our first game of cosplay business card Uno. Do you guys want to see how she made her hat? Okay, how many do you have left? It's one. one off joke. Okay, Abby has one left. They're, this is their stupid game. How many do you have left? What's the score? Oh, she's got two. They're both down to one card. They're like aggressively giving these cards to people. I'm not gonna stop recording until we get a winner. Now, I was pretty convinced Pins was gonna win this, so I just filmed them for a while. But then... And Abby became the first winner of Cosplay Business Card Uno. And with that, Saturday night ended with a cup ramen, a bath, 14,000 steps, and some sleep. Good morning again. 
it's Sunday. If you didn't know, Dragon Con actually goes until Monday. So Sunday's not even the last day of the con, but Joe actually already went home. This is a con that will wear you down so fast, even if you're only here for like a day or two. Uh, I'm also tired, but I am determined to see the rest of the dealer's room today. So that's what I'm gonna do. I don't think I'm actually gonna go get my scissors sharpened because Pins and Snip were doing it and it, it took them, the booth was taking like a couple hours to do it. And I don't, I don't wanna have to be in the dealer's room for longer than I want to be, you know? But I do think I'm gonna go by that booth and buy some like new snips or something just to support them. Cause I love that they were doing scissor sharpening, but I'm not gonna cosplay anything today. I literally planned not to wear anything today because I knew I would be tired. I knew I wouldn't want to put on makeup. I knew I wouldn't want to put in contacts. But ooh, can you see how irritated my skin is? The funny thing is this eye that was covered last night feels great because it didn't have any makeup on it and it had my regular people contacts in but this eye because it had a big lash and a lot of eyeliner it's pretty irritated so i'm gonna let my skin calm down a little bit oh and the exciting thing is tonight is the dragon con masquerade now dragon con has a couple different costume contests they have they had a new one actually this year called the page to screen one that one was on Thursday. And then they have the, the craftsmanship costume contest is on Friday. And then on Sunday, they have the masquerade, which is the one with skits. So it's very fun to watch. And what we're doing is the second annual, everybody get together in one room and watch the masquerade and be as loud as we want. We did this last year and it was so fun. So we're gonna do that. It should be great. Uh, it's just gonna be me and a couple friends. It's probably not going to be in this room because this TV has been broken all day. But if you didn't know, Dragon Con actually has this thing called Dragon Con TV and they like stream it online. So you can watch it from anywhere, but they do put it on all of the TVs on a specific channel, but our TV is not working. So we haven't gotten to watch any of it. Also, I don't know if I said this yesterday, we got up to five people telling me I was in the costume contest. We were twins. The Sunday dealer's room line was still pretty long, but nowhere near as bad as Friday. And I got in pretty quickly. So I went straight up to see the floors I'd missed. And boy, am I glad I did because I finally got to see the sewing booths. Do you know me had a booth with machines? I finally got to go to the scissors booth who actually had a couple cosplays on display, including my bud Casey's Sakizo Amethyst, which is actually the sister design to my Sakizo Diamond. They were both drawn with the same tights in different colorways. And I'm not sure whose this is, but they had someone's Sakizo cherry pie. And at some point I do actually plan on doing this one. So it was fun to get to see one in person. Anyway, I also went over to the Martelli Notions booth and they blew my mind with these rotating cutting mats. All right, so the bottom spins. Oh. And then you have the cutting mat, which goes on top. And then you have, this is for like um, ironing. Wait, so this doesn't like, you don't damage the, are you serious? Yeah. Do you guys have a car? Cause this is a purchase I'm gonna have to think about. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. I'm actually really sad I didn't buy this on the spot because the website is sold out of the ironing mat now. Mm. I found a bench and I'm sitting down, but I went to go like follow these people with the cool cutting mats and I already follow them. I'm buying one of those cutting mats. I can't buy it here because it won't fit in my suitcase. But I will buy it. And I will mention that I saw them at Darn Con so that they know that they should come back. But what I did get, I got these like really curved embroidery scissors because I don't have any and I want Femore to come back too and I didn't buy anything from the Janome booth because I guess we're a Fav family now so brand loyalty has to be something. <laughs> also they had a little vending machine with fans in it. What? Oh! <laughs> I kind of wanted the Marriott carpet one, but I like this one too. Also while in line for that, I realized my card wasn't in my wallet, my credit card. My debit card was there, but my credit card wasn't. And I know I just used it at the Fomore booth. So I just went on the app and I locked it. So if it's not in my bag, it's fine. It might be in my bag, but I'm also a little too embarrassed to go back and ask if I'm an idiot and I left my card with them, but 
After my dealer's room adventure, I ran into Pins and Snip again in their adorable Owl House cosplays. And we headed over to the art show, which is like a slightly fancier version of the artist alley. You aren't allowed to film in there, but I got a millennia print. Afterward, we headed over to the gaming area to go check out the board games, and they taught me how to play Catan. I've never played this before, but I put all my money on bricks. Ten. This is bullshit. Give me those bricks. The brick empire did not win, but it ended up being more of a wood empire by yeah, the end. But like with the Brick Empire defeated, we got some dinner, I got to enjoy the working TV in their room, and we headed down to the floor so that I could play business card Uno. Now it's my turn to play bingo. Not bingo. No. Uno. Lost. Uno. This is their card. Let's take oh, it. Thank you. I got one. I gave him one. I'm down to two. I'm down to two. Huh? This is their card. Wait, 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 wait. This is this is their card. I win! With my own game of Uno one in a landslide, we let the crowd enjoy their cosplays for a bit. Tried to figure out if this was a pumpkin spice latte cosplay or a goddess of fall cosplay, to which she informed us that she was a goddess of pumpkin spice, which was awesome. And we saw what I think is the elf choir, who had some pretty hilarious followers. And I got the best shot of the weekend on the way back up. Oh my god, the go. dinosaur is on it's the good. escalator. Back from, uh, out with the so. And finally, it was time for the second annual watch party. Now, I realized halfway through that I can't use a lot of the audio without having this getting copyrighted. And I was hoping the DragonCon would have posted the masquerade on YouTube by now. But they still haven't, but I did catch this one skit at the very end that I just couldn't not show you. Masquerade was fun, uh, but I'm going back up to my room now so I can pack up all my So it's the end of Sunday, which means I'm gonna go home in the morning and we're gonna be done with Dragon Con. I've had a really good con. Oh, by the way, remember when I said I lost my credit card? So I ended up messaging Famore Cutlery on Instagram and was like, hey, did I leave my card at your booth? And they were like, yeah. They were gonna run the card out to me, but he actually ended up coming out and like letting me back into the booth to get my card and then I came back out. Uh, so that was cool. So. Thanks to them for giving me my card back. So yay, I got it back and I don't have to get a new credit card. And not wearing cosplay was nice today. I liked getting to be the person that gave out Uno cards. Honestly, I feel like more people should do this with their friends because it is so hard to remember to give people your own cosplay cards, but if you give them all to your friends and compete with each other on who can give away the most cards, you actually end up using cards. So I don't know, start playing uh, cosplay card uno with your friends. It's actually fun and you get to support your friends. Also, I got to play my first Catan game. That was really fun. I became the Brim, Bri I, am, I am the Brick Empress of Dragon Con who did not win Catan, but I am the Brick Empress of Dragon Con. I have all the bricks. Um, I'm tired as fuck. It's like, it's like 11 o'clock. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna eat my last cup of noodle. I'm gonna take a bath and go to bed. Monday morning came and I said goodbye to the Poop Lions, the Marriott, and all of Dragon Con. And I went home to my kitties.
Well, after two and a half years, COVID finally got me. I'm honestly not surprised it was this con that finally got me, but anyway, thanks so much for watching. If you liked this video, please let me know. I've never done a vlog before and no one asked for this, so if you liked it, please leave a comment and tell me. And a big thank you to my big support tier patrons. Reiko, Emery Messi, Samina, Claire, Pins, and Snip. If you want to support the channel, you can check out my Patreon, or you can just hit the like button or subscribe, because that helps support the channel too. You want to say goodbye, Joe? <laughs> okay, bye!